what did I tell you? You got hooked up. foot logs stuck in his freaking outboard. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Salt Fresh Fishing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jay. And guys, today we are gonna be doing a one year review of the Bass Raider 10E. We're gonna do some pros and cons. Then at the end of the video, we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna talk about the Bass Raider, pros and cons. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in and let's get into this review. All right, guys, so it's been a full year since I had this thing. And actually, this is like the actual year from my uh, Bass Raider first time out video. It's been exactly pretty much a year by the filming of this video. And yeah, so let's get into the pros and cons of the Bass Raider 10E. So, okay, so we'll start with the, we'll start with the cons of the pros. Okay, we're gonna start with the cons. The number one con to this boat is definitely the weight. Dry, the boat dry is 150 pounds, but obviously once you load up like the trolling motor, your outboard, your battery, you go to platform like I did, probably it's probably gonna end up being around the 300 pound range. Until today, that was, that was like my number one pain point was the weight of the boat. Pro, con number one was the weight. And if you're a bigger guy and you can lift a little more, this is perfect for you. I wouldn't recommend this for like people who just can't, just aren't as big. Anyway, weight, number one. All right, so number two uh, has to be the back transom, or boat transom. It's rated for up to a, let me see what it says, three and a half horsepower motor. So this motor is four horsepower, four horsepower. It pushes the boat really well, the job really well, but the transom in the back flexes really bad when you're going full throttle with the gas motor. So the plastic holds up really well, but it's that it's like that really tough ram x plastic so it's, you, you don't think you don't you never feel like it's gonna like snap or like bust a hole or something but it does it does flex so the number two pain point on this boat is like how weak the uh, the transom is so over time i can see that becoming a uh, a weak point but as of right now it's, it's not a problem but yeah number two con was a weak transom and i'll give you guys a third con to this boat man that's tough Third con is definitely spacing. I mean, horrible. Well, spacing when you got two guys in the boat. Like, you can only sit down, you cannot stand up, but you just have zero room, especially when you got like an outboard on the back, and then you got gear in the boat. It's just like, there's like no room to do anything. The boat just stopped, just straight off the, straight off the plant. is just not spacious enough for two men to fish in this boat. Motor somewhere without really getting out of your seat and then just like when you get there, just sit and you guys both have to sit. You can do that, but that's it. Uh, I mean, spacing has to be the third con on the Bass Raiders any. Now guys, let's get to the pros because there are tons of pros, but I'm just gonna give you guys three pros um, for this one year review of the Bass Raiders any. Pro number one. Oh, yeah. Pro number one has to be disability, guys. I mean, the stability on this thing is absolutely insane. Like I can literally stand on one whole side of the pontoon. I can literally throw my whole body on the side here. I'm a big dude. I'm 6'5", 5'2", 235. I literally got my whole body rocking and have zero worries about falling into the water or anything. Like this thing has some insane stability. It has to do with the foam that's inside the pontoon. And then just the design of a pontoon boat. They're just designed to be stable as frick. For bigger guys, um, for bigger people in general, I highly recommend this boat. All right, so pro number two has to be its versatility, guys. I mean, like if I was a duck hunter, I could duck hunt out of this. Like it's so low profile. It's already green camouflage color. Like I can get up into like creeks really easily. Just lift up my outboard. I can troll in the creeks. I can get out to big water just because of like how stable it is. If you don't have it fully loaded, like you can throw it on top of your, your truck, your van, your SUV. You can dolly it to a launch, like a kayak launch that's that's like off, like on a 
walking trail and still have access to an outboard and a trolling motor. Probably the most versatile boat on the market. And this is for fresh and salt water guys, like salt fresh for a reason. All right guys, and here we go. Pro number three of the Bass Raider 10E to kind of conclude this one year review of the Bass Raider is, uh, hmm. All right guys, and pro number three. Oh gosh, check this out. Here comes the wake. Let's, let's wait it out. All right, guys, and pro number three of this boat has to be the size. I mean, like, just like dimensions, the actual shape, um, combined with, you know, the material, the material, the size, uh, combined with the material it's made out of. The boat is 10 feet by, I believe, four feet, maybe. The size and just like the scope of this vessel is like so perfect for fishing. It actually doesn't even make sense why I'm literally the only person I see ever on, out on the water in one of these Bass Raiders. Like it's absolutely insane to me. I would say for around 1500 bucks, you have a vessel that can literally, you can fish anywhere, minus the deep sea ocean. Yeah guys, that's all I got, man, for the review aspect of this video. Comment down below. Which, what other questions you guys have about this boat? I've had enough time on the water with it that I can pretty much answer anything you guys may ask. So please down below, ask me questions. Also comment down below, which, what would you guys' favorite takeaway from this video? Or from this review section of the video, uh, let me know down below and um, I'll, I'll respond to you guys almost immediately. Predict, um, definitely recommend this boat. Pelican, you guys do a great job on your fishing vessels. Uh, you guys should reach out to your boy and we should collab. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head up creek actually. We're gonna be throwing a chatterbait, we're gonna be throwing a spinnerbait, and it's getting really dire. We may throw a wacky worm. Let me stop talking. My mouth is dry as heck, boy. And Right, guys so right now we're in about right now we're like 10 feet of water but we are gonna pull up to this right here this structure here we do have a lot of grass along the bank good sign fast grass along the bank is a good sign but we do have a lot of structure right here and water is moving right through it so to me, that tells me that if there's fish, the fish that are in this area are going to be congregated right here because they need structure to hold to. See, we're in a foot of water. So I think we're just going to anchor down right here. We're going to push pin it and uh, it's whatever. We're going to cast up in here and see what we can get. This is that clickbait right here, guys. We got a June bug. Uh, Raw imitation on the back of it and it has that flash on the way down too that I love so let's try this out let it sink to the bottom drag is garbage right here nice bass guys in the river too man let's go nice little river bass they put up such a fight here we go let's get him in the boat make sure we land this one here we go boat flip boat flip oh come on i haven't caught a bass in forever y'all jeez man it's been a while since i caught a bass but here we go guys first fish of the evening on the on the freaking review uh what am i trying to say the the review video yeah the review video sheesh first fish of the day on the Guggen squad clickbait there we go nice little guy river fish and uh yeah he's gonna go back in that that dirty chocolate milk water boom goodbye buddy on to the next one
All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button down below for your boy. And uh, comment down below some video ideas you guys wanna see me do, uh, especially with the Bass Raider. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see. And also leave a comment, let me know if there's any other kind of info you guys want to know about the Bass Raider. And um, I'll make sure to get a video out or just answer your question in the comments. But that's all I got, y'all. Thanks for sticking with me. And until next time, guys, Peace.